wide open offensive look. Brian Harrion will start the game at tailback, and Harrion rips one off straight ahead to pick up a first down. Two tight ends, DeAndre Swift, the tailback. Swift slides his way through the left side. Now the, the second incompletion in 10 throws by Jake Fromm. Brian Harrion, terrible tackling by Tennessee, and a big run for Harrion. Wow. Th this up, then I'm not going to go down. There's a, a grab, a grab. Tucked. And inside those big guys we talked about, can they hold it and give them time? Look at Well designed play and runs sure beautifully. Was. A great block off the edge that time by Hunt. We'll hit him hard later. They can do just about anything they want on this down. Second down and one. And it's a play action in front by one at all. He's going to check down. Yeah, been in control. One penalty, illegal procedure penalty, was the only negative play. DeAndre Swift to the end zone. Touchdown, Jordan. Now he's talking about it's to the top of your screen. Play action from deep out near side. From the 46 yard line. From throws long left sideline. It hasn't had a bad game either. From off the play fake. Throws down the middle and throws a dart. about an 18-point favorite in that game at the shoe. Play action, pass is tipped, and it's going to be picked off far side. McKinney again, his second interception, and there he goes. Alabama to the house once again. Shaheen Carter tipped it, McKinney picked it off. Six more points on the board for the tie. And Trevor's still doing okay. Yes, he should be all right. Whitlock. Nice cut, but he lost the ball. Alabama's got it. Tackle, but with his left hand, he sticks it out and grabs right onto the football. We'll fake it to Nate Mullen. With time is Adams, and the pass is going to be intercepted. Xavier McKinney picked it off. Yes, here, including Muse, the tight end in the slot. Walensky scans a field, goes to the end zone. It's intercepted by Xavier McKinney. And he's going to wisely take a knee. First mistake. Throwing it away. Xavier McKinney got to Quentin Harris. Cade York for the point after. Blocked. Might have been McKinney. Harris is trying to throw for it. Underneath, it's caught and not going to get there. The ball pops out. The 43-yard field goal. Here's an end around of Matthew Hill. Oh, man, did he get stuck by Xavier McKinney. Good job. And now the throw out on the flat completes. Wow, Xavier McKinney that time. That's how you have to come up as a safety. Sure tackler. Wrap him up. Xavier, one of the best players we have in the Southeastern Conference. They fake the end around a stove. Nix loads it, fires on the run, completes, and the ball is out. Maybe it's incomplete. Seth Williams, and was, they're going to say incomplete. Was he bobbling it all the way? Should have been caught. And for Auburn, fortunate that he bobbled. A second down and two. Opening drive. UConn on the move. Mensa around the right side, and he's stopped. Move. Beaudry time, steps into the pocket, fires over the middle, low. Yeah, it's a great decide. You see Greg Reeves, number four. We talked about him earlier. He's a defensive end, but he's almost in that spinner look. So a spinner's a defensive guy the rest of the season. Coaches really want to keep him healthy. Beaudry's throw on the mark. Nice. Second down, Beaudry. And he overthrows here in Connecticut. 
And we've seen a lot of offense. And UConn has moved the ball as well. This is Kevin Mensa. Mensa straight ahead has a seam and the end zone. Sir. And a great job once again by the offensive line. We're going to see, we just gave some love to Christian Haynes. Great job pulling right there on the kickout block. And then they right around 200 yards for UConn. They're averaging just 312 a game. Great throw and catch there. I am a big fan of Mr. Ross in the slot. Does a great job getting up and then here's before. It's not enough for the first down, though. It looks like it's just short. Great job on the dagger out. Plenty of time in the pocket. We said if he is time in the pocket. Gain of seven on the pitch and catch. Keep it on the ground on second down. These two schools and so for the coaching staffs. What does that mean here tonight, Tayoka? Well, it affects the game plan as we see Bodry. Your playing career decided to come to Connecticut for his fourth and final year of eligibility, running right and running into the arms of. Run the football. This will be who we will be a running power football team and play action off of it. On third down and three, nobody touched him. Tompkins. That lets a guy like number one get going. And as he's shown before, he's explosive. Bodry. Over the middle, incomplete. That's nice. Oh, it's I should grow the week. mustache back. That's what my son Luke told me. There about. goes Taylor and J.J. Taylor off to the races. Can he get to the end zone? The ball popped out and the Bruins recover. Darnay Holmes, what a heads up play from behind. Darnay Holmes, that play will absolutely have an impact on this. The single receiver at the bottom of your screen, his name, Anthony Heron. Nikhil Harry, but it's Darnay Holmes, the other number one for the Bruins, a pick six. Fifth of his career, this one returned for a score. So Holmes from his seventh. Holmes through. Holmes still going, and Holmes is gone. This. <laughs> he comes underneath. Oh, what a hit. Philip Lindsay miraculously, stunningly able to hang on to the ball after getting drilled by Darnay Holmes. And all that for a two-yard game. Brown a short drop. It's picked. The freshman Holmes. A quick six for the Bruins. 35 yard line of UCLA. He pitches. Jeremiah Hawkins. And a hard hit on the sideline inside the 30. A tough collision with Darnay Holmes. Here Lang. Browning straight back to throw. Wheel route down the sideline, intercepted. Exactly what the Bruins needed. The true freshman, Darnay Holmes, gets the takeaway. The first pass of the third quarter for Jake Browning is picked. So Arcega Whiteside up top, and Costello, why not? Until they stop it, and Darnay Holmes does a good job. So Darnay Holmes is... <laughs> I just love his patience. He reminds me a little bit of a Dory Jackson. Remember back in the day? That's Jet sweep. Ahmed. Upended. Maybe game. Standing tackle. As Garber's throwing deep. And that is intercepted by Holmes. He's throwing off his back foot. It was more Bruin Blue than Cal White in the vicinity of where that ball came down. Announced this week, goes to the most versatile player in the game. Wilkins shoots one deep right, and it is John Lewis incomplete. He was looking for Frank Darby. Darby Holmes with a coverage play, and Darby shaken up after losing his helmet. Second and two, the DB Leakio has a crease, and a first down, he falls. Walk away from him. And uh, turning the corner, CJ Verdell 
Now with the ball game at tailback. On first to go. He's got it. And he barrels in. It's the favorite team in a championship game. And you go nine plays, 67 yards, mix up your looks, break some tendencies, and punch it in right into that strength. And trying to slow down this Utah defense and Herbert. Play action fake and Herbert was peeking downfield. Now back pedals in it. Four man rush. Herbert flushed, rolling and scanning the field. Delivers a. So Michigan with the ball, and that 28 nothing lead. Spate throws short, but got hit, hung on to the ball. Big Butt's got great hands, we know that. Great concentration. You don't know if you're going to get hit right there. That takes a lot of. That was the Athlete trivia question answer. Ball into the short side of the field. They're going to bring three. Watch the edges on the top sides. 18, Shaka Coney on the one side. Tony rather and on the other side. So they close it down, force him to step up, and then he's able to finish that thing off. Parker. Tight end is the blocker. They throw to Parker. And he gets it punched out, bobbled. Does the Penn State defender gain possession of yeah. the football? And if you watch, he never gains possession of it. He actually muffs it. So really, it's not a fumble back to Illinois. It's just a muff fumble that ends. Second down and 10 at the 36. Trying to find some room is Hayward, and Hayward's going nowhere thanks to Cam Brown. Jonathan Sutherland has moved into Taylor's spot. Peyton Ramsey is back at quarterback. The 37 of Penn State. On the ground, it's Kelly Martin goes flying. That ball came out short of the first down line. Run it also out of this formation. They go with a stretch play towards the boundary. Great defensive work by Cam Brown. Did that ball get on the deck? I think it may have. It did. Penn State's got it. It's Cam Brown. Recovered by the defense. Oh, my. Look at that. We're talking about making an appearance after the suspension from the bowl. Cameron Bow oh, oh, oh. at that will position number six is Johnny on the 31 completion so far. Pressure underneath. Davis that time is corralled. He's hurt them on routes like that. Cam Brown comes from the outside, but Windsor is just destroying things on the inside. He's quick and he's powerful, and he is whipping the center and guards right now. On that Iowa 4% of all the possible minutes in their games played this season. Rodney Smith dropped for a long. Cam Brown picked it up. And because there was that clear recovery in the immediate action by Cam Brown, that looks like it's out to me. And this looks like it's going to be a touchback for Penn State. Play. Far in this first half. Peralta and Kinsey in the backfield. Kinsey. Hit behind the line and then dropped by Carter Coglin, number 45. Play action, pressure up the middle, sets up the screen. Foster with a catch and a fine tackle by Carter Coughlin. Coughlin was all over his cover. Deep inside its own territory. Yeah, you want to win a football game and get to that next level. They started great on offense, now great on defense. No. Oh. Houston under pressure again and he's sacked. Cashman and Coughlin meet at the quarterback. Falk in trouble. Four man rush gets him again. And the third is the setback. Second and goal. 
Gordon Schlager didn't fool anyone this time. At home, playing the discipline. That's how you play the zone read right there. Shuffle, stay lateral to the line of strength. He learned from Bill Walsh, among others, in his 49er days. Sindelar runs right into the pressure from Carter Coughlin, who had one play off. Lyman does not know that and just hangs on to anything he can. So they lose 25 yards. Nick Allegretti today is 19th consecutive start. Bobby Smith calling in the leader of this line. George goes down a sack. Carter Coughlin. Watch Carter Coughlin. Watch him. He's looping in from outside. You know, he's a converted linebacker. He's got great mobility. And you see how he lowered. And on the move toward the ball. Robinson off the right side. Ben calls. 35. Find the ball. Rolls, throws, runs on the receiver again. First down. With the tackle. Guards, we have to keep using both backs. And they're going to try to run it some more. And it is Robinson for a few more. Well, it's Clemson. They just didn't push it in in the red zone. Tua throws out to Najee Harris. And he powers his way. Boy, he has played hard. And coaches in their head coaching capacities now. South Carolina stop. And now they shift. Lawrence direct snap to ETN. And he is stood up. South Carolina takes over at the point of attack. Chase Leverage and Ernest Jones was there as well on the inside. That was an excellent stand defensively. Look at Brunson get to the outside. Jones there to clean it up. Results in a 15 yard penalty. Here's Etienne off the right side in trouble in the backfield. Does well to get back out there. First down on the 27 yard line. A little quick pitch to Dixon. He gets smacked. At Fourth down and goal. Clifford lobs it up for Hamler and it's bad. For Book on first down at the 25. They fake the toss. He comes up throwing and fires complete to commit his tight end. And he's got positive yards down at 15 with another Notre Dame penalty. Ian Book across the middle and again he's got commit his tight end across the 30. And he's still not down. Takes a whole pound to double. Tight end is Tommy Tremble in motion. Play action. Screen goes oh, what a Davis play. and what a play it was. Second quarter with Notre Dame at the 42 yard line with a first down. And Tony Jones looking for somewhere to hide. And actually sets up on the right hash at the eight with a toss to Fink. Fink's got blockers in front. Hit at the six and goes down. Ian Brooke throws across the middle in and out of the hands of Fink. And but to keep him open against this Georgia defense. Book on the give to Tony Jones. Jones fighting for close to four. Names, they just don't look like they got that guy now. Jones again. This time he does pop it outside. And again, the Georgia 